All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Hover Revolt of Gamers. Came out a couple, like a week ago, give or take, and uh, I'm only just now getting around to it. Um, but so it's a Jet Set Radio inspired game, which is neat. I never played Jet Set Radio. Um, let's see. There we go. I never played Jet Set Radio. It was. Oh. I bet it won't let me use punctuation. Yep, there we go. Okay. I get. I guess I get a team roster too. So we got totally basic, totally basic. There's a bunch of other characters that we can unlock too. It's actually a smaller roster than I thought. Maybe there's uh, more on their way or something. Let's be orange. Can I. Oh, I can. I can change the colors. Okay, this is kind of neat. Uh, let's see. Not used to decorating stuff. Let's see. That, eh, maybe a little bit too gaudy. Maybe a little bit too not. Let's just go with the dark, dark gray. There we go. Kind of works. Uh, huh. This, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, and we can get, like, taller or shorter. Let's be, like, crazy tall. And this is, this is just rotation. Okay, cool. This is not what I was expecting. I didn't realize there'd be, uh... I didn't realize there'd be character customization. So there's level, there's EXP. I get more characters. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, so I never played Jet Set Radio. But I always kind of wanted to. It just... We kind of missed it. I don't know. Anyway. Uh... Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, I should appear in your head-up display interface. Okay, connection established. You just woke up from a cloning tank. You're probably not in good shape for now, so we'll start slowly. Straight ahead of you, you can see one of my holographic representations. Come closer and talk to me. Okay, but yeah, so I never I never played uh, Jet Set Radio. I always kind of wanted to, and I think I have it on Steam, but I just never loaded it up. And this is kind of a good excuse to give it a go. Mainly, I just like the game's visual style. Okay, press Y to speak. There we go. Hey there! How are you feeling with this new body of yours? Sorry for the lack of warm welcome. There's no way to create clones apart from this abandoned place, so you're gonna have to get out of here alone. Don't panic. We're gonna help you. Othello's placed holograms like this one to help you out. Added boxes that can give you more information as well. Scan the switch near the laser door to open it. Okay, hold Y to scan. And then just search. Okay. There's kind of like a, a med bay, maybe? And another door. Search around you. You should find a switch. Hold joystick button 3 to get more information on your surroundings if you're lost. Don't forget that the scanner has a good range, so no need to stick your face to the switch to activate it. There we go. Scan, so this is just the tutorial. Oh. So what's this up here? Huh. Guess it's nothing, just visual flare. All the bridges linking these platforms has collapsed. You're gonna have to jump from platform to platform to reach the door. Press joystick button zero, the key to jump. Oh, goody. Okay, so they don't have, um... They don't have, uh... Have the controls listed properly. Yep. Okay. Oh! I have a bunch of different jumps that I can do. Okay, so this is just the tutorial box. Oh! Huh. Okay, was not expecting the ability to rewind, but that's fine. All the doors are locked. Just climb all the way up and go through the air vent. You automatically hang on ledges and other grips on walls, so climbing is really simple. Just keep the jump and forward key pressed. Okay. So it's almost more of a parkour game than, than skating, but that's okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Camera's a bit funkalicious, but whatever. You won't be able to go over that gap in one jump. You'll have to do some wall jumps. Just have jump... Uh, you'll just have to jump again when you're against a wall. If you do really well, you should be able to get really high and maybe even reach the ceiling. Yeah. Well, no need to spend any more time in this shady place. Uh, 
Well, I'm up here. Okay. <laughs> I think... I don't know why he said go up to the ceiling. Okay, press X to grind on grindable objects. Let's see what he says. And another room in runes. You can climb the gutter, cables, or barriers by pressing joystick button 2. It's very useful. It makes you look cool. And makes you go faster. Okay. Well, I'm getting... Oh, jeez. The... <laughs> The foot does not exactly stay uh, on the rail consistently. Well, that's fine. Well, let's see. Kind of jam my face into stuff. Oh, so I can just slide here. That's cool. This is a difficult door. It closes a few seconds after being opened. You're going to have to use your suit's features to get through this one. Right after activating that switch over there, press the key to rewind. Rewinding will bring you back to your previous position. Careful though, it does not rewind time. Don't get excited. But it's very useful to correct your mistakes or solve some problems like this one. Okay. Nope. Too far. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Let's see. I just want to be sure you can use the graffiti hollow projector. Tap repeatedly on joystick button 3 to charge your graffiti, then release it to paint the target. Nope, that's that. Uh, that's slide. That's that. That's nothing. Oh. There we go. Good, I'm opening the door now. Oh, wait. Is there an upper area up here? No, it's just a light. Okay. Well done. Spray spraying that graffiti awarded you with some experience points. Uh, the dialogue's not going right anymore. Okay. You should find a container in that room. Scan it to open it. Once you've found the augment ship in there, just add it to your skill grid. Access the skill grid, menu, character window. Okay. Scanning. Can we get that? Huh. Extra jump, extra bounce. Okay, so I don't know what that is. Is this it? Probably under character? Okay, skill grid. This menu is slow. Oh, that's okay. Perfect, I'll open the door. Keep in mind that the higher your level, the more slots you'll unlock in the skill grid. Okay, confusing, but that's fine. Okay, we're getting to the secured area. You'll have to plug in the U.S. box to open the gate. Get as close to the U.S. box. Uh, get close to the U.S. box to pick up if it's not already done, then throw it into the socket, as shown on your HUD. All right. That's easy enough. And then press. Oh, but I gotta like. Oh, okay. I guess I just gotta do that. Bit fiddly. All right. What do you gotta say? Careful, there's a surveillance camera. If it sees you, alert nearby security drones. They'll capture you and send you to the nearest rehabilitation point. It's impossible to run away from a drone in such a small room, so just try and go undetected. Okay. I keep pressing A to talk. Okay. Be careful of the floor in this room. It detects sound and will ring an alarm at the slightest noise. If you have the choice, avoid walking on that type of floor. I don't think you can go around these ones, so you're going to have to walk as slowly and quietly as possible. Okay, so we just figured this out, in fact. <laughs> I'ma make it. I'ma make it. Just you watch me. Baby steps. The babiest of steps. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm getting the signal from your suit. You just, you've just you just left the cloning center. I'll activate the hover heat mode in your suit. As long as the bar is full, you can jump higher, run faster, and, in fact, be better at everything. You can now enjoy it to its fullest potential. The exit at the end of this corridor takes you to the garbage village at the Haven District. Explore the city and have fun with your new body. Okay. Oh, jeez.
So, hover... Okay. Well done, you escaped the lab. Welcome to ECP-17, also called Hover City. For now, you have access to the Haven District of the city, but don't worry, there's plenty to keep you entertained. The gamer resistance always needs novices like you. Explore the district and speak to the gamers you meet. They always have something useful to say, and some might have, uh, might give you some missions. In labs, you surely notice that the suit allows amazing movement skills. While roaming the city, don't hesitate to use your skills. That will allow you to go in the upper areas. Speaking of areas, you'll notice that their names are displayed in the upper right corner of your interface. We also dis and we also displayed each area of and a list of objectives you can achieve help the resistance in the citizens. If you're lost and don't know what to do, just look at the list. That's all the main information. Keep in mind that the best way to fight anti-leisure's oppression is to have fun. Well, it's even better if you don't do it in front of security cameras. Okay, so I'm just some dude. Oh, I see. So we get hover heat by, like, grinding and stuff like that. Makes sense. I'm trying to think of what to do. Okay, trick score. That was sweet. We got a hacking processor. Apparently. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well, she looks like she has a mission, so let's talk to Green D. Hey, the, hey you, the clone. If you uh, think you're a gamer or something, well, you don't interest me for now. Go have fun somewhere else. I'm sure you can't even catch a spy drone. Don't pay attention, dude. Greenie's like that with everybody. What? I have no idea. You're wondering what that thing is, huh? It's a lazy tech transporter, uh, teleporter. I use them all the time. City's administration really cares about the well-being of its citizens. That's for sure. So, in short, it scans your fingerprint and, poof, teleports you directly in front of your home. If you don't have an apartment, well, I don't know where you'll end up, but who doesn't have an apartment, really? Alright. Okay, so by pressing a button, I can do tricks. It's not much of anything, but it keeps my meters going, I guess. Well, this is different. Uh, okay. Almost. Okay, well, I'll just do that for the time being. That... That's different. So we get EXP pretty much for doing whatever. So let's talk to Roxy. See if she has anything specific for us. Hey, you just arrived here, right? Let me race a with you a bit so you can stretch your legs and have a tour around Garbage Village. You coming? Okay. Okay. I'm, am I just supposed to kind of like flip out and do whatever? I, I guess I'll do so. I assume, oh, shoot. I've been screwing around too much. Looks like there's maybe a, uh, huh, interesting. So the lobby is best player only for people in this multiplayer lobby. Yeah, apparently this game actually allows for multiplayer uh, if I so choose to like bring somebody on if I really want to. Not sure if I'm going to. Uh, might do it. Uh, maybe if, like, Bird's interested, though I have no idea if he actually ever played, like, Jet Set Radio. Oh, we got it, and I won. Alright. Music's pretty good. Dig that. Okay, so we get cheap metal, smooth metal. Oh. I see, so... Okay, so we get cardboard flavor. Cardboard flavor. So, if I do it within a certain time, uh, we actually get a bonus there. You managed really well for someone who just got out of the cleaning tank. I think you're ready to help the resistance. Buff and Greedy should be hanging out around. Scan the zone and go check to see if they have something to offer. Okay, what's, what's this? Oh, so it's the same thing. 
Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing again. Wait, dude has left the mission. Oh. Okay, so this time around I'm gonna just aim for speed. Uh, not like screwing around with tricks. Though it seems kind of like jumping. Ah, balls. Uh, I screwed that one up. Okay. Uh, let's, let's try again. Because I want to see what, like, the metal does. I, I like the fact that it, uh, lets you redo it as much as possible. Okay, so it's, it's this box. At the very least, we want to get one of the basic ones. Okay. Hold Y when you're ready. Okay. This does seem like the kind of thing that actually would be fun with friends, is just kind of like a, a group up and, and, you know, just do it. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if much would actually be, uh, oh, I bet you can grind on the rails. Okay. Already screwed it up again. So yeah, can't, can't go over those. I was kind of hoping that I could. Well, I'm just seeing what I can can do. Actually, before we go anywhere, character, we got some skill points that I can put in. Uh, let's see if I can actually put skill points into anything. Uh, we do have this, whatever this does. Quality hacking processor, hacking discretion, graffiti resistance, combo time. Sure, why not? I'm gonna say no. Never mind. I have no idea what that that does, but it's. It's confusing. Add an item to upgrade your character's stats. Warning, the more the same type of the item there are, the less efficient they are. Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's check the codex for a second. Um, Is there information? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll, ch I'll check it out later. Let's try this race one more time. Okay. Hold this when I'm ready. Okay. So this time around... I kind of know what I'm doing. I still wish I knew if there was, like, if doing tricks actually, like, increased my speed apart from... maxing out my hover heat meter. Okay. There's, I, it looks like uh, by keeping my hover heat meter up, we do get a speed boost of a sort. Oh, right. It's X to grind. I always forget about that. Okay. Of course, I'm terrible at actually landing on the rails, but whatever. Uh, let's see, was that faster? I think that was faster? I'm not sure. Nope, 55 se seconds. Well, we get contaminated water flavor and graffiti. Alright, screw it. I'll come back to this later. Maybe when I get a speed boost or something. Okay, so we gotta find Lif and Greedy. Oh! So by scanning, we can actually see the various things available. Well, let's open this up, at the very least. Cheap electroatomic motor. Bump resistance, slowdown, safety... Uh, Let's see. Oh, right. Speak to Lyft, so, speak to greed, Greedy, whatever. Hey, you, the clone. Think you're a game or something? You don't interest me? Can't even catch a... Okay, so... He wants us to catch a spy drone. Okay. So we have to just tag the thing a bunch. If I can find it. At least it's marked for me. Okay. This is classy. I like it. It's, uh... I don't get to play a whole lot of, uh, th third-person platformers that actually have, like, this level of, um... Quality, I guess? Okay, so we captured a spy drone. Uh, let's see if we can talk to Greedy. Yep. Greedy? <laughs> uh, let's see. 
You just got lucky with that spy drone. I'm sure you never raced a gamer. I don't race against noobs, so race against my minion first. Hey, have some respect for beginners. Okay. Two, one. Ooh. Okay. Oh. I see. There, there's rails like all over the place. Unfortunately, I don't know if you have to jump to get on the rails or not. No, you don't. Okay, that's actually super handy. A bit hard to get on them, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, where's the next one? I'm assuming it's just up here. Checkpoint. Okay. I was worried for a second there I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna get anything. Okay, yeah. Let's boost out our meters and keep going. Oh, they're over here. I don't see anything else. I won, and one out of one lap, so we get a bunch of EXP. And, hey, I did actually get a cheap medal for that. Uh, let's see. And a level up? Question mark? And we get a... Ah! Dirty Ionic Thruster. Speed and Acceleration. And Bump Force Resistance Throw Distance. Okay. Ah, shoot! Huh. I'll admit that wasn't too bad. Let's see what you're worth against a real speed professional. So next mission over there if I want to do it. However, for the time being, let's, uh... Let's do character. Okay, so I got multiple points here. Uh, let's throw some things in. Let's throw in the Dirty Ionic Thruster. And the Electro Atomic Motor. Bump force and resistance, slow down when carrying a ball. I'm not sure what that does, but helpful? Question mark? Looks like it's only a small boost for the time being. Can I, like, upgrade these stats? No, it doesn't look like it. I was gonna say, I have one remaining point. Okay, so that's stuff that I can turn in. Uh, I, I guess let's do the next mission. Unfortunately, I'm not exactly... Oh. I'm not exactly the best at this, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Well, you feel confident enough to race against me? Tell me when you're ready. Okay. I... what? That's worrying, but I guess we're okay. Just gonna get my meters up. Okay. That's over here. And we got a speed boost of sorts. I'm so bad at these games. I play Tony Hawk pro skater with the moon gravity on because it was fun and of course like I said never played uh, jet set radio or anything like that so it's not exactly my uh, strong suit fun though and it looks like I can kind of RPG my way to uh, I can RPG my way to victory here oh and we repeat the process nope Okay. Looks like this might be the better option. Yep. Well, I guess I'm probably going to beat beat her, despite my bumbling. Uh, just got to make sure I don't fall off any of the platforms. Ah, tits. Yeah. All right, we got to do this. We got to do this one again. I was like, "Don't, don't fall off," and then I fell off. <laughs> well, that's okay. Let's try it again. At least I know the rep this time. Okay. Nice part is we get a bit of a speed boost there. Okay. There we go, got it. Feeling a little bit better about getting through there. Just gotta make sure I don't miss that one plat set of platforms, this one. Miss that and we're in trouble.
Yeah, so I can I can grind on those rails. Not entirely sure if they're exactly the the greatest thing to grind on. But probably worth it. Okay. So go up the right. Seems like genuinely the safer option for getting through here. There we go. My speed is crazy bad. I'll have to look up to see if there's anything that uh, specifically boosts how speed works in this. Oh, it's okay. Whoa, got some air there. All right. Oh, I see. There's some lanterns over there that I gotta keep in mind. Oh, that's okay. Should probably stop doing tricks here for a moment just because we have already run. Uh, run. One, one. There we go. Words. And we got. Actually, we we're at just short of the smooth metal there, but we did manage to get the cheap metal at the very least. Extra jump, extra bounce. Graffiti. I don't know what uh, the satiety and satisfaction are. Not bad. You're rather fast. Join me up above town. I'll prepare a real race. Let's see what you got. So it seems like most of them are, are purely race-based. Um, let's see. Hold Y for this. So we got Speak to Wadabax, Liff, Diana of the Resistance. Oh, right. Oh, right. If I screw up, I've got the... I've got the freaking... Um... I've got the rewind maneuver. I'll have to I'll have to keep that in mind. Well, let's see what Waterbox has to say. Hey, dude, if you have uh, if you have time for some deliveries, I need volunteers. I was asked to test your delivery level. Tell me when you're ready. All right, last thing. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Bring ball here. Okay. Well, that was short. So, effectively, it's the same thing. Just go fast. Okay. I didn't do great, but whatever. Well done. You were great. That wasn't that hard. Don't flatter him. Well, it might be a little too enthusiastic, but at least he's got more tact than you. Uh. If you want to... Uh, if you want, I have a real mission. Come see me again when you want to do it. Okay, so yeah, it seems like a lot of these are just kind of like, do a, a speed trial thing, maybe get a reward. Had items of the same type for better performance. Oh. Can I... Oh, I see. So trying to remove this... So if it's got the lock, it's sealed. Okay, well, can I put this in? I'm not entirely sure which ones of these are useful. Oh, I see. So that's how you seal things. By locking them in. Okay, well, we'll probably have to overwrite myself at some point. Oh, that's, that's fine. Let's keep going. Not really for long. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to do? Not really much of anything, honestly. We've got, like, rookies and a lot of, like, basic activities. But I think we've got kind of a general gist of this. It's neat. I, I like this visual style. It's It's got a lot of flair. <laughs> Did that guy just do a spin for no good reason? I like it. Um, but yeah, the movement, the whatever feels pretty good. Uh, maybe it's a little awkward, but that that's only because I'm not used to this sort of thing. Um, but it seems like there's a lot of tricks to do. Unfortunately, I can't tell, but there might only be one trick button. It seems like it's mostly just X. You can do some pretty interesting things, though. I dig it. All right, uh, let's see. I think I might keep this as a one-off. It's fun, but I'm not very good at these games. My coordination when it comes to high-speed third-person uh, platformers is a bit awkward. I might come back to it for multiplayer, though. I'll have to see, but this seems like the kind of thing that would be fun to like load up with Bird and 
maybe uh, anybody else that likes Jet Set Radio type games. We'll see. Oh, we got another spy drone. Okay, I guess I'll finish off the spy drone. Okay, ready to go? There it is. Uh, but yeah, it seems like it has a lot of kind of fun little things that you can do to keep the game going. Interesting? I don't know. Uh, and of course, if you like, I'd say if you like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, uh, Jet Set Radio, that kind of thing, this would definitely probably appeal to you. Let's see what the teleporter does, seeing as that was a question from earlier. So, since I don't have an apartment, it dropped me here, question mark. I don't know where here is, but I, I don't know. I guess let's go check out the container. I should probably look for more of them if I do play more. Maybe they'll have goodies for me. Yancha, speed and acceleration. I'm curious what other, like, characters we can, uh, use, too. Oh, I see. It just warped us back to kind of the very, very beginning. Well, that's okay, too. Uh, but yeah, so the game is already out, has been out for a little while. I think it's 20 bucks, and I don't know, it seems kind of like a fair price. It's hard to judge because it's more of kind of a nostalgia game. Uh, since it stands alone genre-wise, it's very, very hard to just say. I have no idea what this thing is. Oh, here we, oh, I see. It's just a tutorial. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I like it. Uh, but I guess with this, if you guys like this uh, episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random mini impressions slash quick looks, uh, let me know. Because I really enjoy them. They're, they're fun. Especially when they're as classy as this game. So, I guess with that, I will see you guys on whatever game I play next. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, I really like this song. I should see if I can get, like, uh, the soundtrack somewhere. That'd be cool.